from players missing chances from point-blank ranges to goalies sabotaging their own team, these are the 25 most embarrassing moments in NHL history. The empty net and the KG veteran comes up. It's coming back. Could it go in? Yes, it's in! A goal! Go! Kicking off our list, we have the time when Dion Phaneuf squared up so well for a fight, but lost his composure when it mattered most. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, but... Come on, man. The fight is against your opponent, not against yourself. Now, they say pressure makes diamonds, but for Marc-Andre Fleury, the tension was too much for him to handle. Huh? It was the opening game of the 2008 Stanley Cup Finals, the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Detroit Red Wings. With the pressure in the sky and huge stakes on the line, Fleury was so nervous that he found himself face flat on the ice. Up with more points in the standings, but this is huh? the team and Marc-Andre Flurry leading his team. The entire arena couldn't stop laughing after that fall. At least Flurry had time to play that off like it was nothing. Leas Anderson, on the other hand, got embarrassed in the spotlight. Back in 2019, the New York Rangers introduced their player back on the ice for the start of the 2019 NHL season. Unfortunately for Anderson, the camera wire nearly welcomed him into an early injury. Damn, that was embarrassing. Still, that is nowhere as ridiculous as what happens next. With the puck in your stick and the goalie out of sight, what you expect is an easy point, right? Well, that was not the case for Dallas Stars forward Patrick Steffen back in 2007. With 15 seconds left in the game, Steffen had the opportunity to kill the Edmonton Oilers in hopes of leveling the scores, but when the Stars needed their forward the most, he vanished. To add salt to the injury, the Oilers miraculously drew level to force overtime. For a number one draft pick, that miss is another level of embarrassment. Seven years later, the Edmonton Oilers' luck worked yet again, but this time it was against the Chicago Blackhawks. The Blackhawks forward Patrick Kane was taught to shoot goalward all his life. This time, Kane decided to try something different and dangerous. A broken stick by Sharp. The net empty for the Chicago Blackhawks. It's coming back. Could it go in? Yes, it's in! A goal! Payne got so used to scoring that he didn't know when he found the back of the wrong net. Poor guy. It happens to the best of us. To make you feel better, just ask Dmitry Orlov, because the Capitals defender scored an own goal that makes you wonder if he's playing against his own team. That own goal will go down in history. However, Patrick Laine's own goal was so crazy that it shocked the entire arena. The sign of regret on his face says it all. Defenders scoring own goals is quite normal, but goalies sabotaging their team is way more embarrassing. Now the Kings with a chance to tie it up. Quite ironic that Quick has one of the best goalkeeping reflexes I have ever seen. Even he couldn't believe what had just happened. Absolutely insane. Hockey goalies are a whole different breed. They are willing to risk anything to protect their net, like David Riddick did here. Risking a concussion to catch a three-inch puck. Yikes, that must have hurt really bad. Alex Nedeljkovic is another name on the list of NHL craziest goalie fails ever. Instead of saving his goal, the Red Wings goalie did the unthinkable. Alex must have been killing himself after that error. However, a few goalies have learned their job down to the letter. This time, an all-time NHL goalie, Marc-Andre Fleury, pulled off one of the greatest shootout saves ever. His first victim was Blackhawks rookie Connor Bedard. And when Taylor Hall thought he had a chance, Fleury said, nah, you trippin'. See the looks on their faces? Those saves left an embarrassing scar on their ego. That was fun, but buckle up because we are about to take things to a whole new level. Starting off with one of the most unbelievable penalty shootout fails you will ever see. Devin Setaguchi had the chance to close the game with the final kick from the penalty shot. However, things ended up far from what he expected. Devin Setaguchi, a must-score situation. Stop the fall, the walk of shame at the end? Damn, Devin will not want to watch that again. 
And neither would Tampa Bay Lightning forward Steven Stamkos back in 2011. We have seen a ton of crazy NHL moments in the past, but Stamkos' penalty blunder is a strong contender for the failure of the decade. What was he even doing, man? At least he didn't lose a deciding penalty like Brad Marchand in the next clip. After bottling a three-goal lead in the game, the Boston Bruins had to save their blunder at the penalty spot. Five rounds into the shootout, Brad Marchand needed to score to keep the Bruins in the game. But what happened next shocked the entire arena. Marchand overskates the puck, he touched it! What a bizarre ending to a beautiful game! Marchand will regret that miscue for years and years to come. But who needs a goalie in goal when players make horrible misses like this? It's a fan on it for Smith. And Smith in the An empty net with no one in sight? Smith, come on. Just pass it into the net. There is no need for all that drama, man. That was truly embarrassing. But what we have next will make you <laughs> laugh out of your seats. Patrick Berglund needs a lesson on striking the puck after pulling off a miss so hilarious, even his teammates couldn't help but laugh at him. With how close his face got on the ice, you would think Berglund wanted to have the puck for dinner. Damn, that was awful. We have seen terrible open goal misses, goalies howlers, and shootout fails, but have you seen the subscribe button? Yeah! Click on that big red shiny button now. Now back to the video. The joy of scoring can make you do crazy things, just like Magnus Payarvi, who almost gave himself a concussion from celebrating too much. Come on, Magnus, it is just a point, not the end of the world. On the other hand, Nicolas Delorier learned about gravity the hard way, because after punching the air so hard, found himself face flat on the ice. Nicholas has had a ton of celebrations in his career, but that one was quite special. Let's take the video a few steps from embarrassing to outrightly comical. After losing both goalies by the second period, the Hurricanes had no choice but to call on the Leafs' emergency goalie, David Ayers, a 42-year-old Zamboni driver who has never kept a professional game. After a shaky start conceding on his first two shots, Ayers went on a route with the best performance you will ever see from a 42-year-old emergency goaltender. Eight straight saves in the third period saw Ayers help the Hurricanes to a 6-3 win and take home the player of the game honors. Pulling off world-class saves and bagging a win against your own team is one crazy script. Even Netflix couldn't make a better script than that. When hockey goalies are not making impossible saves, they are busy sailing on ice? Just have a look at Carter Hart here. What was he even doing? The Power League never ceases to amaze us, man. Steve Alexi should have taken some sailing classes from Carter, because the Capitals forward's life almost fell apart after losing his blade on the ice. The dude was fighting for his life on that one. Damn, that was hella embarrassing. Still, that is nowhere near as embarrassing as what happened to the New Jersey Devils. Back in 2018, the Devils squared up against the Anaheim Ducks in one of the strangest NHL games ever. All game long, the Devils were so addicted to scoring that they found the back of the wrong net three times in a single game. Not one, not two, but three own goals in a game? Damn! The god of luck was all against the Devils. Jack Hughes was not left either after getting his own taste of embarrassment on national television. It was Game 7 of the first round of the 2023 playoffs between the Rangers and the Devils. The pressure of the deciding game seemed to have gotten to the Devils' center, because one minute everything was normal, the next, Jack was in the air pulling off moves you only see at circus shows. And Jack Hughes is demanding the puck tonight. Was Jack tripped by a ghost or what? Because, man, that fall was damn hysterical. But not as embarrassing as when Matthew Barzell made one of the dumbest hockey mistakes ever. While standing in the penalty box, the rookie pulled off the lowest IQ play the NHL has ever seen. Right, watch on the wall. Watch it. He's not out of the box. you got to be on the ice, sir. No way. Did he forget the rules or what? Barzell will be warming that bench for a long, long, time. Over the years, the NHL has seen a ton of intense fights on the ice. While fists and punches flew during a Senators Sabres brawl in 2007, Tom Pricing and Brian Campbell decided to pick love instead of war. 
Hugs and peace during a hockey fight? Nah, I don't recognize my sport anymore. While some players are caught in scuffles, Shea Weber was caught by his goalie's net? Damn, Shea nearly got caught in a web, literally. If you enjoyed the video so far and would love to see more of this on your screen, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Can't wait to get you off your seats with laughter with more NHL content. See you on the next one. Take care.